Encryption is an important uh, part of any data protection program, whether we're talking about Amazon Web Services or whether we're talking about in a traditional uh, data center driven application environment. Um, and the real protection that we get from encryption is that in the event that our data is lost, uh, stolen, otherwise compromised, that encryption provides that last line of defense uh, that without the key, the data itself is actually useless. Um, and so uh, in an Amazon Web Services environment where we're talking about uh, computing resources, storage resources, and, and, and other types of resources that we have no physical control over, it's even more important to consider encryption as part of that strategy. And uh, so uh, we do find that in a number of our customer environments, when we start talking about data protection program uh, and, the, and the use of encryption within that program, that even in Amazon Web Services environments, our customers have not enabled encryption. We think there's probably a couple of different reasons for that. One is there's some operational considerations, uh, especially around uh, data recovery um, uh, and, and availability of data, especially in the event that the key is lost. Um, uh, on encrypted data is necessarily automatically more accessible and can be recovered more easily um, than encrypted data. Uh, and so there's, there's, all, there's these operational concerns, but then there's also some cost concerns because uh, the, the key management services, AWS, KMS, uh, is an additional cost. Uh, to have those keys active. Um, and there's some other operational concerns when we do enable that as well around key rotation and some other things as well um, uh, that certainly AWS can ease that, but it does create a more complicated environment um, uh, and, and that could also drive up operational management costs. Uh, but uh, in, in, when we're talking about encryption, we're really talking about, um, in this segment anyways, we're really talking about encryption of data in storage. Encryption of data in transit, we'll talk about that at another time, uh, but encryption of data in storage uh, provides uh, that last line of defense, like I said, uh, but then, uh, and there's really probably three places where we're talking about encryption of data in storage within, am within Amazon Web Services. We're talking about that on our EBS uh, volumes, on our elastic block store volumes, and we're also talking about that, um, of course, in our, in our, uh, in our uh, RDS, uh, Relational Database Services instances, whether that's a, uh, you know, a MySQL or an Aurora DB instance uh, or an Oracle instance, there's encryption options available there as well. And then finally, and last but certainly not least, S3 buckets as well. Um, uh, and each one of those uh, uh, storage points has, has different mechanisms, different ways in which to consider encryption, um, uh, and, but they, they all have the ability to tie back to KMS uh, in, order to, uh, in order to provide uh, that uniform point for managing encryption keys. Uh, so uh, we wanted to provide some, just some background around uh, encryption and its relative importance, especially in a cloud-based deployment, um, and, uh, and we hope that this uh, will give you an opportunity uh, to consider your own encryption strategies. And of course, Kirkpatrick Price is always here to help uh, to, uh, you know, to, if, if that assistance is needed in coming up with your own approach towards encryption. <music>